everybody. This is your friendly neighborhood, Pastor Nate, uh, coming to you today for my daily check-in. Now, I know this video is coming out really late, and I apologize for that. Uh, as you can see, I am not in my study where I've been doing these uh, daily check-ins. Instead, I am in the sanctuary of Bethlehem Lutheran Church. Uh, because I was helping out with uh, getting our Monday Thursday and Good Friday services recorded so that we can get them out to you, the community, to enjoy from whatever congregation you are a member of or whatever tribe you are a part of uh, in Buffalo Center. Um, but as I was doing that, it kind of got me thinking that there are a lot of people in our uh, community and in our nation right now that are on the front lines of helping to get things done. Uh, first off, I want to do a shout out and a big thank you to all of the medical professionals, the doctors and the nurses that are on the front lines of combating this uh, coronavirus and this pandemic that is going through the nation. Please know that we love and thank you for everything whether you are in a hospital or a nursing home, uh, you guys are rock stars and we, we, we can't get through this without you. So I just pray that God continue to bless you in everything that you're doing in helping our nation get through this right now. But I, I don't just want to thank, thank the doctors and nurses. There are other people that are doing a lot of helpful work in our nation with everything that's going on. Uh, right now, I especially think of the men and women within our armed forces that are really on the front lines as well in getting supplies out, uh, comforting people, and just being right there and ready to serve wherever they're needed, whether it's in their local communities or across state lines, wherever, whatever, wherever they are called, they are right there stepping up. And uh, to you men and women that are serving our country, um, thank you. Thank you so much. And we do continue to pray for you and everything that you're doing. But it also got me thinking that aside from just thinking about the medical professionals or the men and women that are serving our country as soldiers, there are, I'm wondering how can we be a part of that? How can we help serve? I mean, one of the ways that we can do it is you can go on to Bethlehem Lutheran's website, www.bethlehemlutheranbc.com, and you can go over, hover over our contact us tab, and there's a I need help, and that's for if you need things delivered to your house and you can't get out because uh, you're just not in the in a healthy place and you don't want to risk any issues with your own health so you can't leave, put down what you need and we'll get you connected with your church body and your your family and congregation to get you everything that you need uh, in the moment. But there's also a link that says, I can help. And that link is for uh, if you want to get in touch and, say, and go out and help people within the community, uh, we'll get you connected with those that are in need. Right now we have a lot of people that have already signed up for I Can Help, and I thank you so much for taking part of that. That's awesome. And I just want to say it again, if you need help, we have people ready to come and serve you. But I also want to say, like, if there are other ways that you want to help, uh, another way that you can, we, we mentioned the Army and the military, uh, you can sign up uh, right now to serve. Uh, you can contact a local recruiter and just see what they can do for you because there's a lot of things that you can be a part of. You can be on the front lines of helping out your community and your country. Um, and even if you sign up right now, you may not be on the front lines of fighting against the coronavirus, but let's be honest, this isn't the first time our country has been in need of soldiers and it's not gonna be the last. So uh, I want to encourage you, especially if you're between the ages of 17 and 33, just make a phone call. 
Go to the website, see what, see what you can do to serve. And if you want like information on that, message me. I, will, I have friends that are recruiters and I can help you get in contact with them. But this is a time and season when uh, we've heard it said all over the place, we're in this together. And as we're in this together, we need to start imagining ways that we can be on the front lines of serving those that are in need. So that's what I just wanted to say to you as I've been helping set up for our Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday service. Is I've been really considering how we can help each other and serve each other in a healthy and positive way. But I also wanted to continue as we have been doing, uh, doing our, our Daily Bread Promise Box. Where we pull a card out of this little box. I'm holding it. It's just really small. Uh, and I'm going to read the words off, these, off of a card, and these are words of Scripture. And as I read them, just like I did when I was a child, pulling these off of the kitchen table of my grandparents' home, we would read these, and then we would pray around them together. So the text that I pulled for, this, for today, it says this, it's from Revelation 3.12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. So, you know, as we are overcoming fear, anxiety, and all this junk that's happening in our lives right now, as we rise above that and we serve uh, each other, we serve our communities, that's where God is going to set a pillar within you and set a pillar in the kingdom of God. So with that, will you join me in a word of prayer? Well, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I thank you so much for my brothers and sisters that are watching this. Uh, again, I thank you so much for those people that are on the front lines of serving our communities and our countries, whether they be uh, in the medical field, within the military, or just in our local communities, helping one another uh, get what they need. So, Lord, I just pray that we can all overcome everything that we're going through and that you can make a pillar within us of your kingdom so equip each and every one of my brothers and sisters equip myself equip the pastors equip the congregations equip every single person that watched this video uh, whether it be right now or later so that we can represent your kingdom well in our communities unless i pray in the mighty name of jesus christ our lord and savior well, thank you so much for joining me again today, and uh, watch for those videos from Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday services, as they should be up on both, on both Friday and Saturday. And then, of course, I look forward to uh, doing Drive Up Church with Honk Your Inn Men's on Sunday morning. But with that, this is your friendly neighborhood, Pastor Nate, and I'm out.